So today I'm just going to be reviewing the new camera by Theta called Theta S. So I'll tell you the things I really like. It does amazing 360 video and photos. Way better than the current model of Theta that's out there. It's also a lot simpler for people who don't do film work. Um, you have two modes. You have your photo mode and video mode, which is three buttons. It's actually a lot easier to use if you're biking. And then, you know, it's just simple to tell when it's recording. It actually pops up a little record light. The original Theta model, a little bit more complicated than that. You have to hold down several buttons to turn it into video mode. It um, doesn't have a red blinking light. It has a blue blinking light when it's recording. And the biggest feature, I would say, the new model can do 25 minutes of 360 video. The older model only does three minutes. So that alone, I think, is a feature worth the additional price. It's probably a nine out of 10. I don't want to give it a full 10 out of 10 because I think there are still some improvements that could be made. But otherwise, I think it's one of my favorite cameras I've ever purchased. And it's so cheap. It's cheaper than a GoPro. The main features I don't like about this camera are the blinking lights. It makes it less stealthy to film. If you're out in public, you kind of have to hide that. I don't really like the light up there. It's just using up power. You could get rid of those things, maybe make the light lower. That would be better. I also realized that the mic on this camera isn't as good as the mic on the original Theta. So here's the comparison. Here's my voice audio comparison. Here's my voice audio comparison. You can hear one of them sounds way better than the other. I don't know, they could definitely go back to the other microphone system, something like that. Another feature that I think could be improved is the case. The case is super snug. Um, you know, it's hard to fit it in there. I just wish that it was a little bit wider, like this one. You could just slip it in there very easily, zip it up. You got your handle if you're like walking around or something. I don't know, I like the original case a little bit better. Overall, I think it does way better video. The audio isn't as good. I have not tried the other modes. Supposedly this camera can do live streaming in 360 love to test that out. I also haven't tested out the app yet, so I kind of want to play with those things. So I'll probably update my review later on, you know, as I play with it more. Can't wait to try out some other 360 cameras coming out in the future. And I am most excited to do further tests with this 360 camera. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my videos and check out some of my other films in 360.